Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This is going to be part of the Manipulation Secrets series and it's about matching colors in manipulations. I already have the text tutorial on my website and I'll show you that. If you go to psdbox.com under the tutorial menu you will find Manipulation Secrets and today I'm gonna make the video for this the second episode which is color matching and you'll find here all the techniques that I usually use on manipulations and basically what I want to show you is how to make all elements uh, blend in in the scene like you have this example here and I will show you some of the techniques that I that I use so I'll show you two kinds uh, of examples one of them where uh, for example, if you have a pre-made background where you don't have to make any adjustments to the background and I'll add a model here and let's try for example this one and let's hide that one and make this one smaller uh, I'm not worrying too much about the scales and the proportions, I just want to show you the, the technique. So let's say I want to make this woman blend with the background. Usually what I what I would do is use a gradient map. That's a good technique but in this case you can see that a woman it's too saturated compared to the background and I can add a gradient map and I'll show you that. So if I select the same colors as the background which are for the shadows this dark blue and for the highlights uh, this kind of yellow I think it was let's disable it for a second to see well it was white but anyways you can change the color it's not necessary to choose the the exact colors let's choose this one and let's saturate the, the shadows a bit more and something like that and of course we only want this to affect the woman so let's clip it like so and now you have you have to try blend modes you can try color and you can see that uh, it works uh, quite nice but as soon as you drop the opacity you start to reveal the original color so a way to fix that so to say to get um, a better result is using a hue saturation and I'll deactivate the gradient map for a second so I have the hue saturation below the gradient map and I'll reduce the saturation to about minus 60. The amount of saturation that you reduce depends on how saturated your image is but for this one it's minus 60 I think it looks okay. Now I can re-enable this one, the gradient map and I can increase the, the opacity a bit. Let's leave it to 50% and now you can try other blend modes like multiply or maybe soft light so without the hue saturation the soft light would not look nice at all as you can see what it does is simply makes the color even stronger so before and after so use gradient maps on desaturated images and maybe you'll, you'll get a better result uh, also the contrast um, also helps to, to blend the colors better so Let's try a levels adjustment and clipping mask as well. And let's maybe increase the midtones, make the midtones a bit brighter and the highlights a bit darker. Or you can use a hue saturation and uh, use this hue saturation and play with the with the lightness, but uh, usually you don't really want to mess with this unless you know what you're doing. So let's leave it to zero. That's uh, one technique. Let me group this and show the before and after. Well, that was the before and this is after. So that's one way of adjusting colors. You can also use the color balance, but this one's a bit a bit trickier to use, especially for beginners because you have all the channels here, so you can adjust the colors, the color balance for each channel and basically our objective is to get this blue tint so have to add more blue and more cyan maybe a bit more green 
Let's deactivate preserved luminosity. Try again with this. Usually I use this adjustment for fine tuning because it's even even for me it's it's a lot more complicated. As you can see I'm not getting the result that I want, so let's get rid of that. An easier way of doing it is using a photo filter. Also isoclipping mask and I'll choose the color manually because I cannot use the color picker, I don't know, it always goes to white. So I'll choose the color manually. Something like that. And I'll have to change the blend mode. Let's try color. And you can see that it's not working as I want. Let's try uh, disabling preserved luminosity. It's not having too, too much effect. Let's try with that hue saturation trick again. Let's see if that works better. Yeah, it works a bit better. But yeah, this one is not having as much effect as the gradient map. So you can try other blend modes maybe. But you can see that it's not really working that, that well. For color matching, the, the soft light and blend mode uh, don't really work well in most of the cases. But it depends on your image, of course. So well, that's uh, that's a technique that you can. Another technique that you can use to to color match. You can even use layer styles. So for the woman, you can double click the layer and select color overlay and sample the background color like so, and just try the, bl the blend modes here. Color usually works well, I like how it how it makes the image look but of course you can try other blend modes still color is the one that I like the most and let's add the hue saturation and see well it if you use the hue saturation it will also affect well no it's not affecting the it's not affecting the color the layer style I didn't know that let let me try another color well so yeah you can use the hue saturation as clipping mask and it will not affect the layer style so you can change the color from here and play with the intensity here and I want some of the color back Okay, so of course uh, now it's not looking that good because we need more shadows and things to make it look realistic, but in terms of colors uh, it looks a bit better now. Maybe I would increase the saturation and make the color darker. So well, there you have another technique. But let's try something else. In that previous example it was a bit easier because you only had to to adjust the woman to a background that was already uh, already adjusted, already manipulated. So let's let's say you want to make a completely new effect and combine two separate, uh, two different images. For example, this one. So let's say we have this image and we want to make a simple manipulation. Let's choose a model or maybe an object. Let's see if I have something in PNG format. Well, this this statue here. Copy, well, that's not a good example because it's gray. Let's try something a bit more difficult. Let's work with the model with this one. So let's say we want to make a manipulation uh, with these two images. Again, usually I start with the background, so what I do is first uh, get the color and uh, uh, the feeling, the mood that I want on the background and then adjust all the elements to the background. So I'll hide this layer which I'll name Sad Man and for the background I'll leave it locked and I'll add levels adjustment. I'm just uh, improvising here. I don't know what I will get, but uh, I know I want to get a dark scene, and I don't know the color yet. But um, well, let's try 
gradient map. I use gradient maps a lot, I know there are other ways, and fill layers and things like that, but I like gradient maps. And let's try a really reddish effect, it's something un unusual, I don't really use this kind of colors, but uh, let's see what we get. And maybe I'll use... And I, I, I would like to use the, the soft light blend mode because that gives me some contrast. But you can see that if I use the soft lights, I will get the original colors on, of the background. And what I want is to have pretty much the same colors um, on the sky and on the, on the ground here. So again I'll use that hue saturation adjustment above the image and I'll reduce the saturation a bit because I want to have my own colors and I'll re-enable this so now you can see the effect before and after have more contrast and I'll get another gradient map well let's use a solid color just uh, for the sake of the tutorial and make it cyan uh, this kind of color and maybe let's try the color blend mode let's see some other blend modes Hmm, this one would look nice, but let's try others. I liked this one, but it's too strong. Let's try a more unsaturated color and a brighter one. Something like that. Let's add uh, another gradient map. I, re I really want to add another gradient map. And try this color and maybe use some crazy blend mode and get this kind of look. It's something really extreme, but uh, now we have to make this man match this color. So, how are we going to do that? You can drag this layer under all these adjustments, but probably it will not look good as you can see. And that's because this image has another composition in terms of uh, highlights and shadows so those adjustments will not work on this image so you have to adjust it separately and what I'll do is um, let's see maybe add a gradient map and all the adjustments that we add now we have to make them uh, as clipping masks for this layer because we only want to affect this one I want to make a shadow really quick so I duplicated the layer press ctrl u to load the hue saturation Reduce the lightness and maybe flip it. Well, I'm not going to flip it. I'll simply resize it like that. Just a quick shadow because I like uh, more realistic things. And just add a bit more realism, add a bit of blur to it. It's not really that realistic. I, I could get a better result simply by painting a shadow. So let me delete that and use a soft brush and paint with black a dot like that a really simple and not very realistic shadow but just uh, to have something there okay so now let's go with the adjustments I'm going to use a gradient map first and I'm gonna choose this one, which is the same adjustment that I used here, the same gradient. But I'll use a different blend mode. Well, I don't really like how it looks. Let's try the hue saturation thing. Saturate it a bit. Now add a color balance maybe let's see if we add more red and more yellow it starts to look a bit better and highlights we need more maybe a bit of green no more magenta but not too much 
and obviously this one is uh, this image is uh, it's too bright so we need some levels and darken the midtones just a bit and also the highlights because the bench is too bright I don't really like how it looks so well maybe I darken too much the midtones something like that one thing you can do uh, an easy way of uh, making this bench a bit darker is create a new layer set the blend mode to soft light set the color to black and reduce the opacity of the brush and also the flow to about 25% maybe even less we'll see 25% oh, is, is okay make sure you have this as a clipping mask just paint over the bench on the areas where you want to make to make it darker like so you will notice that on highlights uh, like this this will have no effect so even though I set the opacity to 100% it will have little effect over the highlights over the white areas actually because they are highlights but really bright highlights I mean so the soft light uh, will not work on those areas it just increases the midtones on the increases the the contrast on the midtones it, it makes them darker so this is pretty much the same thing as using the dodge and burn tool so you can use the dodge and burn tool all on a new layer and just uh, paint with the uh, with that tool so let's see a before and after now it looks darker but maybe still a bit too saturated well, let's add that gradient map that I added first. No, the color balance, the gradient map. This one. Make it as a clipping mask. Now let's choose that gradient that gradient that we uh, that we used on the background, and maybe even the same blend mode. I don't know if it was a hard light or, but we need to um, reduce the opacity. Okay, something like that. Let's try color burn. Oh, I don't like how it looks. Linear light looks nice, I think. Well, that's that's pretty much okay. Let's try vivid light again. Oh, I like hard hard light. Let's leave it on twenty percent. Maybe I would desaturate these colors a bit so we go to the left something like that maybe darker a bit and this one also a bit more unsaturated because it adds too much yellow there on the bench as you can see and I don't like that too much this is also um, depends on your preferences what what you like so it's not that you have to do it this way I just show you the technique you can uh, do whatever you like and once you're done with that if you want to even it even more you can add um, a gradient map over all the other layers so this one is not a clipping mask and try try one of the gradients that you that you want uh, let's see this blue and maybe this yellow and try blend modes. Let's try soft light. I like I like hard light, but uh, it's too strong. But this darkens the image too much. I don't like it. Let's try color balance. And from here you can adjust the overall colors of the image. You still have the colors of each image, but now you can. Uh, make uh, small changes to the overall image and get a different result there you have it that's how I make uh, color corrections and color uh, color matching using basically gradient maps and color fills and uh, color balance and all those adjustments and just using blend modes uh, as you've seen so I hope you liked uh, this tutorial a lot of people requested that so and uh, that's why I made it 
well that's that's all for today thank you for watching and see you next time